Why start a painting business and how to run it? Five important tips by painting-business.com Why start a painting business? Because you love to paint, right? If not, better hang up the brush and figure out what you are good at. It's an easy business to start. There's low overhead. It's a much needed service with a big future, etc. These are all good reasons to start a painting business. I always like to paint, I still do. I love to restore things, whether it's machinery, old houses, commercial properties, etc. I love making things look good again. Please be sure to watch this short video to the end. I have a very profitable painting niche for you to check out. How to run a painting business. You run it simply by getting customers and doing accurate estimates. Everything else falls in place behind those two things. After that, you must decide if you are going to do your own work or hire painters to do the painting for you. Someone can make a mountain out of a molehill when it comes to teaching you how to start a painting business, but let's face it, without customers with cash in hand and ready to spend money, you're out of business faster than you got in. Painting professionally. I was self-taught when it comes to actually painting a house. That aspect alone is a long learning curve unless you have a manual that shows you a lot of tips, tricks, and techniques on how to paint like a pro. See painting-business.com. Over the years, I learned how to paint interior, exterior, what paints and primers to use, how to enamel woodwork, how to stain and varnish, how to make prep time fast and easy, etc. One older seasoned painter said that he was a better painter working by himself. I understood that because when I take on a project, I want to put my pride and skill into it. Some of that gets lost when you paint with someone, even though I have, I like having a painting partner. Having a partner means getting bigger jobs, turning them faster, and many other benefits that I don't have time to go into here. Responsibility. If you want to grow a bigger painting company and hire painters or subcontractors, that shouldn't be so hard either if they have a good productive record from other companies. The hardest part would be once you find a good painter or two, keeping them busy and paying them on time. Once you have subcontractors or employees, you have a big responsibility to keep them working, making money, and happy. Taxes. A common thing that happens with many younger contractors is that once their children are no longer dependents at home, they lose them on their taxes as deductions. This one thing can bury you in tax debt faster than quicksand. So you need to know all about the tax deductions available for painting business owners as soon as you start your new painting business. You need a tax strategy plan from someone, a bookkeeper, that understands the painting business so you can deduct or write off as much as possible and save as much money as possible each year. The Paint Like a Pro estimating and advertising system has everything you will ever need to run a painting business successfully. Get more info here, plus get a free report as well at painting-business.com. A variable, a very profitable painting niche. Check this out. Make $100 to $200 per hour in the world's easiest painting business. Just visit AmazingStarMurals.com for that.